Weddings are all about joy and excitement. But after you walk the aisle and into the supposed bliss of marriage, you can hit a wall. 50% of people who get married experience some kind of low, some kind of anxiety, sadness, possible depression after the wedding. That feeling even has a name post-wedding blues. But sex and relationship therapist Kate McKenzie says there are ways to avoid and even beat this mindset after tying the knot. The first step is to accept that it is okay to feel this way and acknowledge why. However long you've been planning that wedding, however big or small, quite a lot of work, intention, saving, doing, organizing. Your body is going through an emotional withdrawal after an intense high of preparing for months or even years. It's one day, it's with all that pressure to fulfill a lot of things. You can imagine how there could be a crash after that. You may even be grieving your singleness. When we get the job of our dreams, sometimes we lose some of the free time we might have had. But when we get married, we lose singleness. It's like when you become a mum or, or a dad, you suddenly do not have the same time that you had. And that's a huge change and a huge loss if you are used to your own freedom. Pressures of society may also play a role. Society said you've got to have a house or a home or a car or a marriage or a baby or whatever. People follow the trajectory of what they've been programmed to do. So, Kate says in order to prepare for the marriage and not just the wedding, you need to ask yourself the right questions. What are you committing to? What are your vows? What is your heart saying to you? By answering those questions ahead of time, you can save yourself from confusing feelings later. Ideally, there would be some kind of emotional or spiritual or mental preparation because it's an enormous change. And just because you're committed to somebody doesn't mean you should lose yourself in the relationship. The final step to avoiding post-wedding blues is to always remember who you are. Give yourself rest and recuperation and community and friendship and sweetness. Get back into your normal routine and remember to communicate with your partner. And if you're still struggling, it's okay to seek help from a pro. Soon as you admit a problem, you let the light in. But ultimately, the journey of love is a journey of the heart. And that's the journey that's unknown. We're learning how to say I don't to post-wedding blues.